What's going on and welcome out to the RTG. Today marks the start of Project Shomani. You know how he did it with the Makulele using the leak SPC grind, putting that stuff into the 6pm content and gaining fodder? Well, we're going for round two because this guy has had so many incredible reviews in the community. One of the best CDMs on the game if you don't have the coins for Team of the Year Patrick Vieira. And I'm thinking like Makulele center center mid, Shomani left center mid, that could be insane to really help bolster up that midfield. So we've spent roughly 250,000 coins on the League SPCs. I'm going to show you, obviously, the best packs. And then we've got some crazy gameplay, a really nice episode. So enjoy. Oh, I've got a foot birthday untradeable. Who is it? Keynes. Nice, though. Fodder. Fodder is fodder. What rating is he? 87, 88? It is Keynes. His rating was an 87. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Brazilian. Brazilian cam. Is this Dabina again? PC United. I don't know if she plays for that club. It is Dabina, but I have a tradable version, so that's fine. That's a good pull. 89 rated. Okay, that's our huge, huge big pull. For birthday, come on. Maybe a brand new one that's just been released. Striker. Nah, Victor Ushiman then. The Victor Ushiman, so it's an 88 double. Pretty nice. And we get ourselves Raspador again. I, absolutely, I'll take it. I think I've already put him into the SBC, no? Or is he a dupe? He is a duplicate. Good 88. Bon Matty! Born Matty 90 from a milestone. Oh, wow. That is a beautiful player to get. What fodder as well. 90. We needed that. 83 times 5. Icon! I've got an Icon! Is it Didier Drogba? It is Didier Drogba. Oh, my God. Didier Drogba win a wild card. 91 rated. He's really good. He's always the one destroying me, and now I've packed him myself. DDE Drogba. How much is he? 300,000 coins. All right, so he's come down a fair amount. So already, we've received some pretty lucky pulls, and I did mention at the start of the episode, I spent around about 250 to 260,000 coins. And after I had sold everything tradable from the League SBCs, I got back 200k anyway. So we're down roughly like 50,000 coins, but what have we got to show for it? Loads of 84, 85 rated cards that are just pointless for me to show you. The non-rares and rares obviously added so we can do some player picks and a load of informs and, and just a lot of stuff added. So it's already a very good grind. But there was an SBC that got dropped. It was the Encore Fantasy Player Pick. It contains like the UCL Heroes, it contains obviously the fantasies and I opened some of these for my viewers and they were truly broken. Yaya Torre, Company, Ramirez and that got my eyes lighting up and thinking well it only requires like some 87 rated players and what I need for sure many anyway are basically like 90s and 89s. So I fancy taking the gamble and ripping this and seeing what I could pull. So like I say I'm going to show you all the teams that I've submitted and then we're going to be jumping into a fantastic foot champ session with the brand new cole palmer that we packed from obviously our foot champ rewards most recently we've got a brand new uh, icon as well to try out which is hadji with a double five star so loads of really good players i'll obviously show you the team but let me show you this to start off with my fantasy hero three two one come on the yaya Toure. oh god nice nah, no way like none of them are good we've made some changes we're going to be using this in the foot champ playoffs Bellerin is pretty nice and he's got the whip plus and we do need to get some assists. Woody Orban's brand new, looks solid. Got Jordi Alba coming in for Grimaldo. Hadji, a brand new fantasy or future star. No, what is it? It's a foot birthday. I got there in the end. Foot birthday, double five star Hadji. Uh, Schweinsteig obviously in the team. Dan Juma to play left forward and then Cole Palmer, our brand new golden boy, you could say, as our right forward. Let's go. Casillas is the best, the best for me and probably the best against as well. Imagine the fantasy Yaya Shumani and then a very good attacking center mid. Or even Cole Palmer in that position. Like, oh my God. That'd be juice for at least a couple of months. Oh, go on. Palmer. What a finish. That is composure. Palmer, you got to run for us. This guy's just tracking all the way back. You, you keep running, Haji. Christ, he's far. He's literally faster running the AI than me. As soon as I switched off and did a player lock, he was legit faster. 87's like far too easy to pack anyway. It's fine. Better in. I need. I need a goal. I actually need. Yo, who was that? That was a good header. But it's fine. We grind. Through ball. It's Hadji. It's Hadji time. Hadji, five star weak foot as well. Nice finish. Rudiger 85. Rolfo in there. You got the Jal Felix I probably should have done. And now, like, I can't really defend as well, being aggressive. 
Haji, go on, man. Ripping through those shots. Good pass, Palmer. He's offering more than just having a finish shot. Like, I don't even feel like I've been doing that many finish shots anyway with him. Carlos Alberto. Nah, that foot birthday, Carlos. Oh, my. Imagine. Use mate the Niles in the cup. Yeah, I might actually go through. Like, I've got the coins. Like, I don't mind spending the coins and then selling the players after the event. So, after this foot champ playoffs run, we can do the cup and see. What a ball. Let me shoot that. Dan Juma. He's got something about him for the price. He's like, discards. Well done. All back. Oh, Willie Orban. He's messed up. He's actually messed up. He should have won that header easily. What's his height? And he's got, he's got nine. Yo, Willie Orban's actually got 99 jumping. Through ball. Love that. Mbappe. That is dirty. The LB skill around the goalkeeper. Nah, for real. That is just filth. I don't think I've scored one like outside of the box finish shot yet with him. I need to get into a better position. Wow. <laughs> okay. That is rather unfortunate. Go on. Killian. Killian. Who's that? Haji. Finish shot. Nice. I mean, he's only got 85 finishing, but he's scored pretty much everything that I've taken right now. Casillas. I mean, he's like the most common goalkeeper now. Schweini in there as well. Special shout out to him. Akileli. My auto, auto midfielder. Cole Palmer. Finish. Yeah, I've been taking more regular strikes with Palmer, and I absolutely love it. He's in Schweinsteiger. Near post. Nah, Schweini. He's got that ability, though. And if it was a Kanji, he's got block plus. Nah, he's getting, he's getting me. Gonna pass that as well. Cross. Damn. That was loose, though. That was bad defending. And block that stuff for us right now. This could be the goal. It's for sure the goal. Palmer again, back in it. Oh, got Nah, see? Nice. Yeah, I should have had that anyway with Jordi Alba. If that was Grimaldo, I'd come away with that ball for real. Boro. Yes. Nice. And you're through middle. Oh, come on. This is a lovely counterattack. Boro. Go oh, the goal. That's what we play for. Lovely goal. Van der Sar. Renard Oi. Renard Nesta. Hey, shout out Nesta as well. Haji. Your. What? No, that's not fair. Again. This is no, this is not right, man. No. That is so unfair. I swear to God, every pass I'm playing right now into the striker's feet inside the box, my players are ignoring the ball. Haji again. Good. Well done, Haji. Yeah, thank you for the assist. This is his last game for the club. And then Palmer. <sighs> Come on! Score, oh, Palmer. Nicely done. Chip it. Haji. Can I get some rebounds? Head that down. Dan Juma. Five star week for now. Nah, this guy is very nice. 30k, 20k. Nah, he is pretty bloody good. Like, he was nice when I first had him, but after the Evo boost, I swear to God, it's made him a better player. Like, I mean, it should, right? But it's only a plus one, but I just think that he does play it. Like, it's noticeable in game. I'm so pleased I did him. Cole Palmer now, for real. Fantastic. I'm not even getting used out of the finish shot yet. But a really nice foot champs playoffs run. Mega pack. Any coins right now, we will be putting into League SVCs. So if you wouldn't mind DA, just to help the grind. I, even I'll take a Rashford. Is he extinct or something? Because you can put him into an SBC. Uh, sorry, not an SBC, the Evo. How much is he? He is. Let's go. 16,000 coins. Nice. 50k. For a birthday? No, for a birthday. In fact, oh, that's still good. I mean, Virgil van Dijk would have been even better, but an 86 is still coins. All of this stuff sold, and then the stuff that doesn't, we discard. The 100k pack here. Please be a foot birthday. It is, yes. Tradable foot birthday. The Forsberg. He's 87. That's fine. Maybe we can even use him in the cup. Who knows? Finesse shot plus and technical. It's still coins. It's coins that I didn't have, so they're very, very nice pull. And maybe even some 84s, 85s that we can sell. His price, he is absolutely discard though. 
He is straight discard. So unfortunately, it doesn't make any difference how many times I list these two players up. They will not sell. The Bina is going to be no more than discard value. And Paolo Futre with this current market is probably about 40k max, maybe even a little bit cheaper now because there are so many other options. But I will keep trying, obviously, and maybe hopefully get lucky. But it's not going to happen. Like, no one's going to be buying those two players. But I've got some good news. So from the foot champ playoffs, obviously we received the rank one and I basically made around like 50,000 coins. So all the money that we started this grind with, obviously Project, Shomini, I've got back. So it's going to go straight back into the league SPCs and obviously the 6 p.m. content and we're going to continue and hopefully get him done. But we've got 11 days remaining, which obviously is it's going to be tough to get 1.6 million of fodder well i don't think i need as much as that because i obviously already have some really high rated players in the team but it's just those 289s and then the other 90 squad that is going to be really really rough but i had a great session okay so we brought in a load of new cards this hector better in is obviously needed to be used towards the color moani uh, that looks in insane but it's going to be a long grind as well for him but better in felt nice in the challenge clutch like felt uh, smooth he was pretty good like for an objective player and if you really don't have any players available to you try out bellerin uh orban was nice as well it definitely holds his ground really well i would say that recovering wise i, I do still prefer saliba just to really like if i'm out of position to quickly turn around and get a slide tackle in i think that willie orban is a little bit more on that heavier side of things but he is a powerhouse defender and he's definitely feeling like a, a beast with this upgrade Jordi Alba was nice as well. I can't really fault him too much. I, I much prefer Grimaldo though. So if you're looking at whatever left back you're going for, I'd say, yeah, Grimaldo is definitely better than Jordi Alba. Uh, Makaleli still playing well, of course. I did have uh, Hadji, by the way. Shout out this man. Uh, five games, three goals, four assists. He feels really smooth. Like when I unlocked that Baggio, he was bloody terrible. But Hadji does feel like he's got something about him. And even though he only has 85 finishing, his finish overall was pretty nice. He's technical. He's got a bit of acceleration. He can pass the ball pretty well, which is nice that they gave him incisive. I like him. And I think for the price, it's um, a, a good good player to uh, have a look at for sure. And then obviously we've got the Dan Juma with the five-star weak foot. And he surprised me. I didn't think he was going to play as well, especially with his controlled uh, sprint. He does have the technical as well. He feels really nice, like weave in and and get those shots a bit of physicality as well that i was noticing in game getting those rebounds and the five star weak foot is very clutch but the main man obviously our golden boy cole palmer is he as good as we were expecting absolutely he is he's crazy man i was scared because he's obviously six foot two and he was going to feel like a little bit heavy but the way he accepts the ball he pirouettes turns accelerates gets away like he is fluent on the ball he's got some very very nice dribbling so 10 games 12 goals three assists and a lot of the shots that i've been taking are just power strikes near post across goal like i haven't even been able to get use out of the finesse shot yet I, i've actually been struggling to hit finesse shots not just with uh, cole palmer but in general like the zola's feeling a little bit weak when i was testing out claudia pinner as well like i'm just not sure what's happened after the update to the game finesse shots for me have just not been as good but the fact that he has the finish shot, so when I'm on top of the goal, I've got more of a consistent finish. But even without that, like, he has more to his game. Like, genuinely, he's got more to offer. And that quick step is very nice. Like, he's so quick. He really is fast. And I think that's what I've been lacking from my team. So he can play really right forward, right center mid, left forward. He can play anywhere. But I'm going to be using him as a right forward because that's my position where they're going to be staying up the pitch a little bit more for the breaks. So I really, really like him. He's worth every single penny. He's going to be in the team for sure. Even Dan Juma's nice as well, like I said. But Cole Palmer is that guy. But we continue this grind, boys. We're going to just continue, try and get this show many in. If we fail it, then, well, it is what it is. I'm not going to be submitting any of the high rated teams just yet because I don't know what's around the corner. I might just lose all the money that we have, the 250k, and not gain anything back. So it's, it's risky. It's risky business, but yeah, we're going to try and get it done. But thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed today's episode, drop a thumbs up. Let me know what you got from your hero player pick. Sadly, mine was absolutely abysmal, but it is what it is. You take the risk, and it didn't pay off. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.